Hey there, it's me, Kelly Rosano here, and I wanted to let you know that my free workshop series, No Credit Card Needed, is about to launch January 30th. If you want to build a business you love and make great money too, or double the biz you have, upgrade your money mindset, clear your money blocks, radically transform your relationship with money, and so much more, then sign up in the show more section below. Click on the audaciousabundance.com link and when you sign up, you'll receive your Wealthy Biz Goddess Action Guide. And there's an awesome 12-month prosperity roadmap exercise that can help you build a business plan and manifest the prosperity you want over the next year. You're going to love this. And I know in my heart that this workshop series is going to help a lot of people. So join me and I'll see you on the inside. Hey Scorpio, welcome to February 2019. Now in February, this is about you going deeper. <laughs> like I'm telling the Scorpios to go deeper. Right, I know, but it's true. And that's because Venus goes into Capricorn on the 3rd and she meets up with your avatar, Pluto, and Saturn. And that's pulling you into the deeper parts of your consciousness. So there's some house cleaning happening for you deep in your mind. Now, if old fears come up and start to resurface, you know, this is about you doing the processing and, you know, releasing, letting go and being very present, being very present with your partner, being very present with other people. This is really important because there's so much going on inside of you on deeper levels that you can just like go off into other dimensions. You know what I mean? Like you go off into other worlds and you know, the people around you are like, Hey, honey, where'd you go? You've been gone a week now. Hello. And you know, for men, we call it going into your man cave, you know? And uh, for women, it's just like, shh, go and we just go off into our own space and and so that's because there's so much happening with you on other levels of self. You're processing out past lives. You're processing out um, maybe things from your childhood. And it's okay. It's all, it's, you're cleaning it up. You're cleaning it out so that you're making space for the light to lift you up and lighten you up. And if, like I said, if some old fears start to resurface, Stay in present time. That's always the key. Whenever we get scared about something, it's like we move out of present time. We're not in the present anymore. And we're either in the future or the past. But when you stay present, today's Thursday, there's nothing that scares you. You know what I mean? Like, okay, today's Friday, today's Saturday. There's nothing scaring me about today. And so that's when you know you're present. But then when you go into, you're scared about something, then you're in another time space reality that does, so then you want to pull it back get, and be very present with yourself and allow that to just go because that's really what the universe is doing is they're doing that cosmic clean out with you where they're just cleaning out the deeper layers of consciousness the subconscious the unconscious and uh making room for the light and the good stuff to fill you up but you're definitely deep in your feelings this month too. Like there's this process of depth with you. I mean, you're the deepest sign to begin with. So <laughs> it's kind of funny that we're going deeper and you're doing some deep soul searching, but there's no hurry here. It's not like you got to finish this in February or you have to finish it in a week. You know, allow the process to unfold as it needs to. Now we have Groundhog's Day on the 2nd. Yay! Six weeks till spring. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> and Venus enters Capricorn on the 3rd. And then you have the Aquarius new moon on the 4th. This is a lovely uh, new moon. Jupiter in the area of your money, your talent, your gifts, your abilities, your resources is sextile. The sun, the moon, and Mercury. This is positive energy. It's very uplifting and inspirational. It brings joy. It brings blessings. So there could be something awesome that happens in the home with the family that's incredibly supportive and uh, more money, more 
abundance coming into the home, you're bringing more money in or your family is bringing more money in, more abundance, and it just feels awesome. And also, you know, new moons are awesome times to set the foundation for what you want to create in the next 30 days and the next year because, and I talked about this in January, that 2019, you're building the foundation for the next 20 years and particularly this first four months are incredibly important to that foundational building for all of us and that's why we want to choose wisely uh, here in 2019 and make the right choices because you want to uh, build a foundation that's going to bring you where you want to be over the next 20 years and this is really exciting now there is this sense of urgency going on too because your uh, ancient avatar Mars your you have two planets that rule you Mars was originally and then we discovered Pluto and then Pluto became the modern ruler of Scorpio Mars is coupled with Uranus and and I talked about this last month about making sure you drive carefully <laughs> that continues for this month as well and uh, Mars is coupled with Uranus and that goes exact on the 12th that is some sort of can be some sort of irritation or abrupt uh, situation that occurs uh, in at work um, and that's why you want to be very conscious with what you're doing not lost in some deeper part of yourself especially while driving or even at work you know like really being present in in uh, what you're doing but there is this sense of urgency this month this is the you know the month where all the planets are direct like January and then the planets Mercury goes retrograde next month Mercury enters Pisces on the 10th your sister sign which is great for you it's gonna camp out in the area of creative self-expression self-confidence being outgoing and that is uh, incredibly beneficial for you Mercury will be in Pisces for nine weeks because of that retrograde he will move into Aries April 17th so you will have him in there igniting the romance department for you <laughs> so this is a romantic time <laughs> and uh, you have Neptune there too of course and it's also you know creative too that would like this is a really highly creative energy for you and it is a wonderful way for you to use your creative energy to produce you know whatever it is that you want to work on whatever you're building then Mars will enter Taurus on the 14th and that will bring the action to relationships and you know this is really interesting so he's he's with Uranus all this time and then he moves into the area of relationships on Valentine's Day so you could find that your partner is being very assertive with you and maybe just making all the plans calling the shots which I don't think you mind too much because you're so involved with yourself right now that you know if your partner's making the dinner reservations or planning you know certain things you're almost relieved like thanks you know okay that sounds good wherever you want to go <laughs> I'm, I'm in and and so yeah let let the partner lead let the partner um, make the decisions right now so that you can you know be with yourself and and work on the things you want to be working on and then Chiron enters Aries on the 18th and that is about work and health make sure you're taking really good care of you and Chiron will point it out <laughs> if you're not so you want to make sure that you are um, practicing extreme self-care and then the Sun enters Pisces on the 18th this is really great for you because uh, Pisces rules the area of true love and romance 
self-confidence, creative self-expression, being outgoing. And that kind of lifts the mood too for you where you're starting to feel more like, hey, you know, I'm ready to mingle. And if you're single, this is a great time to mingle <laughs> and put yourself out there. And, you know, even if you're coupled, it's great to just be social with others and uh, have fun. That's a lighter energy for you. Anything in Pisces pours positive energy into your planets in Scorpio, which lifts you up and makes you feel good, which is definite plus. And then you have the Virgo full moon on February 19th. Now, this is a good moon. Both of these moons are good. You got Jupiter over there, sextile in the party on uh, the 4th. And here you've got Mars in positive energy flow with the Virgo moon. So Mars is in positive energy flow with the Virgo moon, and he's sextile the sun in Pisces. This is so good. And even Uranus is too, because Uranus is right at that late degree. He's at 29 degrees, 25 minutes. He's minutes away from entering Taurus for good, where he's going to stay a very long time. Now he's been in Aries since 2010, in the area of work for you. And you've had to reinvent yourself, you've had to innovate, you've had to be creative in this area of work. And so it's going to feel a relief when he goes into the area of relationships, because now you really are working on a whole new chapter of your life and will be initiated in, in different ways through relationships, but also, you know, the importance of you know, your independence and your freedom and what you love and value. And that's why it's so important that you're doing this work this month with yourself and uh, these deeper feelings and emotions that are coming up. Some of them are new for you. Like some of these emotions that are coming up, they're going to feel new. They're not going to feel familiar. And that's okay. That's you know, you don't have to understand everything. That's the challenge as humans. We try to rationalize our feelings or we try to understand our feelings. And sometimes feelings are just feelings. They're not to be uh, intellectually understood. That can come in time. That's why it's so important to stay present so that you're not being whisked away in the sea of emotions. Because it is emotional here now. We're in Pisces. Now, Pisces does harmonize with you tremendously, and so does Virgo. Virgo sextiles Scorpio. And this is a lovely moon because you have Mars and Uranus in positive energy with both lights, the sun and the moon. Now, the challenge comes in is Venus is sitting there with Saturn and Pluto. And that's where we can get into fear. We can get scared. And the old fears come up. And that's where, you know, you want to be very grounded and practical about what's real and what's just emotion. You know, is false evidence appearing real is, real, is fear. You know, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. And you want to be um, not swept away in that allow for it to clear out what is no longer serving you. And that's in regards to, um, it could be anything from the neighborhood you live, it can be um, siblings, it can be uh, speaking, writing, teaching, communication, social media. You know, maybe you've just like had it with Facebook or something, you know, like you're, I'm done with Facebook. And that's fine. Honor that. Honor whatever needs to complete at this time, because that is what full moons do, is they complete things. And with Saturn and Venus, you know, Saturn's giving Venus an airfall, and it's all about being real and practical and grounded and being honest with what you really want, being honest with your feelings, being honest with your life, and allowing for what needs to change to happen. Because this is all destiny, what's taking place with all of us. Saturn is the Lord of Karma. Saturn rules Karma. Saturn is destiny. 
Now we have free will choice. We can either go down that road with destiny or we can um, resist and break down because that's what Pluto does. Pluto breaks us down and rebuilds us <clears throat> through the breakdown. Or we can just honor what the universe is asking of us so that we don't have to break down. We don't have to, uh, or I mean, there will be some of that breaking down to break through, but it doesn't have to be kicking and screaming. <laughs> it can be, I get it. This is what I need to change. Okay. I'm making the change and I'm good with that. I'm good with the change I need to make. I get it. I know I need to make this change. And you know, you know what change you need to make. And, and that is, you know, what's being asked of you. And, you know, it's kind of cool because you, you really are successful this month. You're going to feel successful in your relationships and in your money, with your money. It's, it's what's going on with you, like what's going on deep inside of you is where the drama is or the action is with you this month. It's, it's the inner you the inner parts of you that is being activated here. And that's kind of cool, you know, because as Scorpios, if you don't want to show it, no one knows. I mean, you're the best poker face out there. <laughs> and so you can hide the storm going on on the inside. You know, when people say, how are you doing? I'm fine. You know, it's like, <laughs> if you only knew. And so you don't have to share unless you want to. You know, you can, you can bring it to creator, talk to your guides, talk to your angels, talk to the Ascended Masters and, and share it with them or share it with who you trust. And, uh, and that's the answer. So for those of you available for love, I mean, it is on, you have the sun in there and in soon in, uh, next month, you're going to have the new moon there in the area of true love and romance. And you've got the Virgo moon activating uh you know love coming to you from others so it's interesting how you can still be popular and have romance going on new relationship going on current relationship going really well and uh doing all this deep inner work with yourself money looks excellent Profits can really grow this month for you. You can absolutely see yourself uh, move up financially here in uh, February with Jupiter helping you and that Virgo moon helping you and the Mars Uranus helping you. So this is a time where you can feel really successful in your relationships, in your money, in your career. It's just interesting dichotomy here because the outer world looks really like you've you're, you know, it's your oyster and you're doing really well. And yet on the inside, you might be having some emotions that don't go along with that. That's okay. It's because there's deeper work that it's like cosmic surgery going on on a deeper level. Let the universe do its work and focus on what's working in your life. Focus on the success you're experiencing. Focus on the money increasing and the profits increasing and you will be, you know, fantastic. Spiritually, take that time for yourself. Take that time to meditate. Take that quiet time to listen and hear your inner being, your guidance speak to you and lead you to what's right for you, what's true for you. And it'll be amazing. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing my videos. Scorpio, you're rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps to support the channel and it lets you know when I upload. So until next time, Scorpio, I see tremendous success here for you in the area of profit, money, and relationships.